She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad features What's up everybody? It's up okay. and welcome back to my channel <laughs> Did you miss that one? <laughs> I know you did, stop playing so I've decided that I was going to do this really cool new thing where I give advice because I am the queen of giving advice. <laughs> right, no, I suck at giving advice. In fact, I wouldn't take my advice at all. Um, <laughs> I have made bad decisions over and over again like everybody else. Um, although, I think I might not bring to the table um, what you should do. I can probably give you what you shouldn't do. That's that's as good as you know what I mean. Like it, it's sometimes the same thing. Let's just go with it. I'm going to be reading problems, dilemmas, life stories of different people, and I will give them my advice that they didn't ask for. Yeah, that's what we're doing now. Uh, remember, this advice is professional but unlicensed so if you're in a similar predicament and you follow it and something goes wrong <laughs> you're on your own homie don't just listen to everybody on the internet what are you doing but if i say something that you feel like is sensible and you listen to it and it goes right <laughs> i mean send a girl some dollar dollar bills it's this is not free nothing is free but anyway uh yeah without any further ado let's get into it Right, so this one, the title is Found my boyfriend messaging girls on Tinder, Bumble, and Instagram. Bruh. <laughs> mad. Mad thing. First of all, your man should not have any of these Bumble and Tinder accounts when you exist. What we're doing. That's crazy. What is it that he's trying to get from there that you can't give him? I don't understand. Instagram is different because Instagram is essentially a portfolio for models who will never become professional, right? That's fine. It's also like a, a, a family photo album that everybody gets to see. That's okay. But Tinder? Bumble? That's crazy. That's just foul play off the bat. I saw a Bumble notification pop up as we were laying on the couch. That's so awkward. I can imagine how he must feel. Imagine if you're cheating, yeah. <laughs> and you're there cuddling with your man or woman. And pop comes your sin. Out on public display, man. I uh, grabbed his phone and sure enough, it was a bumble message. He had asked some girl to make out with him. <gasps> Bruh. I didn't see the rest, but saw there were at least two other conversations. He didn't say anything, just sat there all wide-eyed while I freaked out on him. We've been dating for almost two years and he hadn't brought up any concerns within the relationship. Didn't communicate-ish. I leave the apartment to get some air. By the time I come back, he's deleted all and any evidence he could. How is this supposed to prove you're innocent? Okay. I asked him if he's downloaded Tinder and he told me no. I asked to see his phone and there's an email with a purchase for Tinder and Bumble Premium. Bro had premium! Bruh. Okay, that's what we're doing now. <laughs> From this week, I also found where he had reached out to some random girl on Instagram to be friends. Friends. <laughs> because she was stunning and this was back in September. I'm feeling so stupid and in shock right now. This isn't the person I thought he was and it makes me sick. Aww. He says he wants me and was just being idiotic and was bored. But I can't allow myself to be with someone who does that when they get bored. I don't do that. I feel like I'd be wronging myself by not leaving him. We've been living together. Got a dog together. I feel a little lost right now. Like it doesn't feel real. We had talked about all these life plans for each other, but reality's really hit me in the face. He's a liar and a sneak, and it feels wrong thinking about a future with him. Sis, you have so much insight for yourself. You don't even need to write into anybody. Sis, you know what to do. In fact, you didn't even ask what you should do because your spirit has already communicated with you what to do. Um, I 
think you just wanted an outlet and that's perfectly fine but just in case you're actually indirectly asking for advice um see relationships complicated i would never unless there was like abuse i would never tell someone off the bat leave your partner da, 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 da. no no i i wouldn't do that however i will say it is not right okay what this is is not okay it's your choice to forgive to forgive it it's your choice to because people make mistakes right <laughs> bro what kind of a mistake is this a mistake where you what you sign up do you know signing up isn't that easy i mean i've never signed up for for bumble or tinder or whatever but i signed up for instagram i signed up for freaking gmail and that stuff is not that straightforward it's not like just put your name in there and then boom bada bing bada bang you're done no they ask for all these other things and i'm sure a dating site is even more notorious because you're trying to find the love of your life essentially or someone to hook up with but even then People have preferences so I'm imagining you have to upload a profile picture you have to write a little blurb about yourself on your profile and it has to be catchy and snazzy so that people are, are into into you I'm sure you write about your hobbies your interests you know whether you're, you're single or not your relationship status and you can't accidentally fill in all those things and then pay for premium let them take money out of your account and it be an accident how do you accidentally how is that a mistake you can't that is not a mistake bro you're actually meant to do this so even though i'm saying people make mistakes bruh <laughs> this is not oh my days i, I don't know if i'm i don't know I, i'm like spazzing right now because a part of me does believe people make mistakes but then i mean it's not like a part of me believes people make mistakes obviously it's a given people make mistakes but at the same time it's like what how is this a mistake you know but okay let's just say it's a mistake people do make mistakes so you can either forgive them and people are capable of change you know it's hard but they are capable of, of change so if he says he's sorry and that you know it was idiotic and whatever it could be true it could just be that and maybe you know now that he got busted because sometimes people only learn when they get busted it's not even a matter of just guilt on their own but even if they get busted and they feel guilt that guilt might be real you know and it's something that he might never do again but that's for your discretion however that being said you are absolutely totally right that he is a liar and he is sneaky because this didn't just happen a couple of hours ago where it's like maybe he didn't even see a full day do you know what i mean like he could have deleted that account by the end of the day and just felt really stupid for doing it and and really bad this has been from september that we know of who knows what's happened before then so it is going to be hard for you to trust somebody like that because they've just kind of shown and proved that they're not trustworthy um and you are right also in saying that you feel you'll be doing yourself a huge disservice by being with someone like that and I can only imagine how painful it is to plan a future with somebody and then find out that this is them. Like, what are you doing? We had plans. It's a waste of our time. We're sitting here discussing things that, you know, you may care for, but like, do you really? Because if you did, you wouldn't jeopardize it for what? Uh, uh, what, what were you trying to achieve exactly? Like, what are you actually trying to do? You said you're bored. It's, you said it was idiotic. But what were you actually trying to do? So you hit up these girls and let's say they want to meet up. Are you meeting up with them? Is that what you're doing? Or, or are you just emotionally cheating? Because for whatever reason, you can't get this from your girl. And then you're having these conversations with these other girls just to you know quench that thirst or uh, what is the end game sir and i don't want to be all you know i don't want to be all sexist and stuff but what are the chances that a man is going to try and meet a woman online just for talks and it just be that i'm not saying they don't do it i'm just saying you know let me not throw fake stats at you, but you know what I'm saying. It's highly unusual or unlikely for a man to just go that far and that's it. So, 
I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I can't tell you whether you should stay or go. But I will say that you are absolutely right in how you're feeling. And you're absolutely right with what you said about him. And uh, I don't know how he's going to talk his way out of this one. And never mind. Also, I just remembered. Jay! 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 Help us! Help us! There is God! There is God! 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 He deleted some information, some vital information. God should descend today. God will descend here. That, if nothing else, that is the reason to leave. Because if it wasn't that bad, you wouldn't feel the need to delete all that. Well, just as I thought, trash. Because you're already in trouble. We're already arguing about it. Why would you now go and delete? What What did you delete? What did you say in the things that you deleted? See, you, sometimes it's even better for people to see what you said than for them to imagine what you said. Because woo, the mind, it just goes wild. It just goes on and on and on and on, right? Creating hypotheticals that probably aren't even anywhere near the truth and your imagination is so much more vivid and so much more worse <laughs> so much worse than the real thing most of the time so now you've created this situation where like we can't trust you we can't trust you even if we think that whatever you wrote was so much l less than what we imagine we're still imagining the worst you can't take that away from us so uh, now you done flopped. Flop, flop. You flopped before, but now it's just this. That's it. That's it. I think for me personally, I think I would leave. That's what would make me leave more, because, like, okay, hold up. No, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Calm down. I'm not saying that everything else that he did was excusable. I'm not saying that this is the the reason why I would leave. But it's the it's it's the the, the you know the thing that throws you over the edge. Everything else is reason to leave. But this, if I was going to stay, would, it, would be the thing that would be irking me so bad that I would just, like, nah, it couldn't work. It couldn't work. I'm, I'm sorry, it couldn't work. But yeah, so um, that was episode one. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think about it. Um, and if you found it entertaining. And if you want more like these videos, uh, let me know. And um, yeah, I'll catch you on the flip side.